Oh, there's Ben. Hey, we're having a great time, aren't we? You look wonderful, Ben. Oh, you too, Dad. Ollie, can I see you in the kitchen? Yeah, Dad, you look good. Have you been using that treadmill we got you? He must be. I called him an hour ago, and when he answered, he was totally out of breath. <laughs> you are not going to believe this. I just went up to Dad's apartment, and guess who answered the door wearing nothing but a towel? Crystal. Crystal? Yeah. Oh, man. He's really setting himself up for a fall dating a lesbian. She's not a lesbian. How long has this been going on? Well, you can bet that's the first thing Mom's gonna ask. Oh, she'll flip when she finds out. Is something burning? Oh, my lasagna. <laughs> the stand stove. You know, the same thing happened last week when I made it for Grandma. Oh. <laughs> the poor kid. I mean, this is a horrible birthday gift. Damn, I meant to get him a present. You haven't gotten him a gift yet? I'm sorry, Mom. We're all not as anal as you are. Oh. <laughs> I am not anal. Now, my car is parked out front. In the trunk, there's a box of pre-wrapped emergency gifts. The ones with the crown bows are men's. Wait a minute. My last anniversary gift had a brown bow. Stuart, the writing was on the wall. <laughs> this is unforgivable. I never liked that woman. Would you just stay calm for Ben? Look, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but this is such a betrayal. I don't believe this. You know who she was talking about, right? You mean you do? He obviously just told her about Crystal. That's not who they're talking about. Yes, yes. <laughs> I bet you're right. Maybe we should just go in there and tell them that we know what's going on. Yes, yes, no. Well, if, <laughs> if she's just going to mope, why not confront those feelings? This is what I do, you know. And I give women bigger boobs, but you don't see me doing it at parties. <laughs> Hi, Benji. Hey, guys. Just, uh, bringing out the old plates. God, I think he knows about Naomi. How could he know he was out when she called? Well, then she must have tried him on the cell phone. Oh, this is hideous. Mom. Mom, are you okay? No, I'm fine, dear. I... Because if there is something that you need to talk about... Is there something you'd like to talk about? Because if there is anything you need to talk yeah! about... Oh, oh. Uh, stomach cramp. Dad, could you help me out, please? Sure. I'll be right back. You know, don't you? Yeah, I know. Oh, darling, why didn't you just say something? That awful woman, I just hate her for this. Mom, that is a completely valid emotion. But the blame's not all hers. You're so fair. Just remember, as far as we know, she and Dad never slept together until after you were divorced. Your father slept with her? Well, I don't know for sure. Maybe they're just dating. And you're okay with that? All I know is that I saw her wearing a towel in Dad's apartment tonight. Tonight? Wait, 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 wait. who are we talking about? Crystal. False alarm. He's fine. Your father is sleeping with Crystal? Maybe I'm going to take another look. <laughs> Stuart! You get your ass back here! Lydia, I swear to you, I didn't touch her until we were divorced at least three months. All right. All right, Stuart. If you say so, I believe you. You know who else is going to believe you? No one! The minute this gets out, the entire hospital is going to think that you left me for her. No one is going to think that. Why didn't you just tell me? I was afraid you were going to think that. Oh. The last six months, I have been the brilliant cardiologist who outgrew her marriage to an underachieving gastroenterologist and moved on with her life. Now, I am a pathetic middle-aged wife whose husband dumped her for a 32-year-old, freshly silicone, liposuctioned Franken-bimbo! <laughs> and thank you for your little part in this sideshow. Okay, this is good. We're communicating. Now, in Dad's defense... There is no defense. It is one thing to say your marriage is over, but to make it matters worse... I knew it!
I knew you couldn't keep your mouth shut. No, no, Regina. Regina. Yes, you misunderstood. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but trust me, Naomi leaving you may be the best thing that ever happened to you. <laughs> Naomi's leaving me? Oh, crap. <laughs> Happy birthday. What, she told you this? No. She called while you were out. We heard the message. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you all just enjoying this too much? To... No, Ben. Now listen, you're very upset. You should go and call your wife. Nobody was enjoying this. Ben, we just feel awful for you. Well, there is a bright side here. Yes, he's losing a wife. But he's gaining a bouncy new stepmommy. <laughs> I mean, Ben's better off. Come on, she was not a fun woman. Remember when she made us watch that vegan propaganda film about cows in a slaughterhouse? Yeah. Aside from that, it was a very nice wedding. Well. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just remembered when she went to the World Bank protest dressed in the rat costume. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and she got her tail caught in the subway door. And she, she had to rip it off, and she took the next train with just a rat head and her hemp underwear. <laughs> he doesn't need a divorce lawyer, he needs an exterminator. <laughs> ben. No, no, go ahead, please. Laugh. It is my role in this family, isn't it, to keep you all amused? Ben. Just go. Please. I need to be by myself. Just go. Go somewhere else and have a good laugh over funny, funny men who can't hack med school like us brilliant doctors who can't pick the right wife, can't even figure out what it means when the present has a brown bow on it. This is good, dear. This is really good. This is what you recently were saying about getting in touch with your feelings, and I'm sure you already feel... <laughs> Should we give it a minute and go back no, in? No, he needs time. I don't think I could survive another awkward moment like that. Hey. Hey. Look, um, <clears throat> about last night. I'm really sorry for, uh... Dancing on the freshly dug grave of my marriage? Yeah. So you talk to her? All night. She says it's not me, it's her. She doesn't know what she wants in life. Oliver! Stacy, what are you doing here? That's so weird. This is my brother, Ben. Hi, I'm Stacy, with an I. Like Tracy. <laughs> Stacy's a dancer. Music videos, no polls. Huh. I'll just uh, let you two get to know uh, each no. other. No, Stacy, could you give us just a second? Oh, sure. Just a second. Thanks. You set me up? Are you out of your mind? My marriage has been over for 12 hours. You can't live in the past, Ben. <laughs> just ask her to go. Hey, guys, he's over there. Hey, Ben. Hey, did you get all our... Yes, yes, I got all your messages. Thank you. Now, look, we know that it's going to be tough for a while, but you've got to know that we're going to be there for you 100%. Hello. Got to run. Oh, Stuart. Stuart. Just sit down, please. Please. Here, Mom. Oh, oh thank you, darling. <sighs> now, I think we all know that we owe Ben an apology about our insensitive behavior last night. I, for one, have already sent flowers and a selection of teas. <laughs> But I also think we have to thank Ben for reminding us that even though we pursue our separate lives, that we are still a family, and that's something you don't just throw away. What a beautiful thought. Oh, don't touch me. <laughs> You're hurting now, Ben. But trust me, it gets better. A lot better. <laughs> and what is this nonsense that we look down on you because you're not a doctor? Yeah. Oh, come on, admit it. You people have never thought that what I do is as valuable as medicine. Oh. Benny Ben, that is all in your head. You're a healer, just like we are. There's no difference between right. us. Yeah. Is there a Dr. Barnes here? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
Nurse Talbot. Oh, that's oh. me. I'll be right there. I'll talk to you later. I love you. Bye, Dad. Well, Hello. I gotta run. Oh, oh, Ben, I got theater tickets for us tonight. Oh, Mom, you don't have to. Ben, you were there for me when I went through my divorce. And I'm gonna be there for you. Double. <laughs> I gotta go, too, but when you're ready, I'm gonna find you a nice, sweet, intelligent, down-to-earth girl. Thanks. And I'll give her a set of knockers you'll need oxygen to climb. <laughs> That's a brother's promise. Don't you have a nine o'clock, too? Yeah, actually, I'm thinking about calling in sick. Why? Don't know if I can do it anymore. And who am I to tell other people how to save their relationships? Ben, anyone else would have given up on Naomi years ago. But you hung in there and you tried to make it work right up until the day it killed over. You're a believer. That's the kind of guy I would want helping me if my marriage was in trouble. Thanks. Not that I'm getting married anytime soon, huh? Not with this family's batting average. And thanks again. <laughs>